The patient for this cardiovascular OSCE is a man with Marfan syndrome who's had an aortic valve replacement. The student will be asked to examine his cardiovascular system and given the history that he's had a, a recent fever. Um, we'd expect the student to identify some of the features of Marfan syndrome, note that the patient has a median stenotomy scar, uh, hear that he has um, mechanical heart sounds uh, and not find any features of infective endocarditis. Hi, I'm a fourth year medical student, Sartan Roy. Do you mind if I do a cardiac examination on you? No, that'll be fine. Okay. So I'll just start off by having a general look. Okay. I'm just going to have a look at your hands if that's okay. Can you relax for me? Okay. Now I'm just going to have a look at your eyes. If I could get you to take your glasses off for me for mm -hmm. a moment. And I'm just going to pull down your eyelids. Look up for me. And open your mouth. Ah. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. And can I get you to touch the roof of your mouth with your tongue? Perfect. Thank you. I'm just going to feel your neck. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, can I get you to look to the wall for me and relax? Thank you. Damien, could I get you to take a deep breath in and then hold for me? And out and hold. Thank you. Okay. Now, can I get you to roll to your left? Yeah, thank you. Great. And can I get you to sit up for me? 
And I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath in and out and hold. Second. And out and hold for me. Okay, and breathe normally. And then I'll get you to do that one more time. Great. Thank you very much. Keep sitting for me. Deep breaths in and out through your mouth for me, please. Great. Thank you very much. I'll get you to relax back down. Right, well, we're just about out of time. What other things would, would you do if you had a bit more time? Um, examine the abdomen as well. You'd be looking for enlargement of the liver or a pulsatile liver. You'd also want to examine the spleen, given its history of a fever. Mm -hmm as well as any signs of any, any ascites um, right. or severe heart failure. And you'd also want to do a peripheral examination of the feet and the vas um, vessels. And right, anything else? Um, you'd want to have a look at his temperature chart, given right. the fact that he's got a history of a fever. Yeah. Um, right. Well, tell us what you found so far. Okay, so on examination, um, in general inspection, uh, we have a patient with of tall stature which is of note. Um, he also has a median stenotomy scar. An examination of his um, peripheries, they're warm, well perfused. Um, he does exhibit long digits, so um, his pulse was regularly irregular and at a rate of um, 80 beats per minute. Mm -hmm. An examination of his face, there's no signs of anemia or jaundice when examining the eyes. He does wear um, quite thick focal lenses. On examination of the mouth, he had no signs of central cyanosis and there was a high um, palate of note. Mm -hmm. His carotid was um, palpable and regular. His JVP was slightly raised but still within normal. And on examination of the precordium, he has the median stenotomy scar, as right. I mentioned earlier. Um, the apex beat was not visible and the, the apex beat was in the fifth intercostal Hostile space on palpation, there were no thrills, no parasternal heave, and heart sounds were dual um, with a soft systolic murmur, loudest in the aortic area, and a notable metallic click for the S2. Um, there was no sign of sacral edemia and edema, peripheral pleural effusions, or pulmonary edema. So, what do you make of the metallic click? What does that suggest is going on? So, in accordance with the median stenotomy scar, and it's it being loudest in the aortic area, I'd be thinking an aortic, aortic me mechanical valve replacement. Um, he also has his, the features of tall stature, thoracic kyphosis, um, the high soft palate, as well as the long digits. So how would that fit with an aortic valve? Indicate marfans, which is and aortic regurgitation is quite a common. Right. Um, and were there any features suggesting endocarditis in this man who's been fibrillated? Um, I could find no stigmata of endocarditis. There were no signs of JMA or, or Oslo lesions, no splinter hemorrhages. Great. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. This was an excellent uh, cardiovascular examination. Uh, the student picked up uh, all the things that we expected her to find. The only small omission from the examination was that she didn't uh, asked to take his blood pressure, but everything else that was, was expected of her, she looked for and identified satisfactorily. So this was a clear pass, and I've given her a four for this case.